So this is going to be another one of my top five videos. Just in case you guys are unfamiliar with what exactly this whole top five series is, don't fret. I'll leave a link right here to the playlist. You guys can go check out some of the other videos, see some other top fives in different categories. But this video right here is all about my top five affordable eyeshadow palettes. You guys know, although I do love my high-end products, I'm always looking for a bargain. I'm always looking for some really great bang for your buck. And I have some really great eyeshadow palettes here that I want to say are no more than $15, like $15 may be the highest and that's just for one palette, but pretty much even with $15 that's still to me an affordable price for the quality that you're getting. So yeah, no further ado, let's get started. So the first palette that I'm going to start with is the one that is the most expensive. This is the BH Cosmetics Special Occasion Palette. Now I have to say I don't really talk about BH Cosmetics here on my channel just because I don't have too much from them. This palette right here is one of two palettes that I own from them and when I say I love this palette, it comes with blushes as well, but we're really not going to focus on the blushes. I mainly just want to focus on the eyeshadows, but again, for the price, you're also getting blushes. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. But here are what the eyeshadows look like, and as you can see, you have quite a different array of colors. I used um, this palette in conjunction with another palette on my eyes today. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it has glitter shades, it just has so much. I take this with me every now and then when I travel. Again, just because I feel like it has some really great shades and also some really great fall and wintertime shades. Y'all know how I love fall, so of course I was gonna throw that in, but I do just think these are some really great fall, winter inspired time eyeshadows and definitely really great bang for your buck. The next palette is no stranger here on my channel. I've talked about it before. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one of my top five videos as well, but it is the Nika K um, Perfect 23 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. That is what it looks like. Talking about affordable eyeshadows, I had to throw this in there just because I think this is one, <laughs> one of the best palettes that I have, and that is even including my high-end eyeshadows. Like, these eyeshadows are bomb. Now, of course, I am more of a neutral girl, so uh, yeah, you know, I gravitate towards shades like this, but I love how there are so many great, like, crease shades, transition shades, like, just natural lid shades, but then they also have these pops of color in there, and then they also have have like these under brow highlighter shades as well so I think this palette was what about five dollars if that so definitely a winner in my book the next palette is a drugstore palette this is actually from black radiance I don't know the name of this one I will make sure to um, look it up and have it somewhere on the screen I think it's called downtown browns but I just don't know for sure and the sticker is no longer on here but here is how it looks. And again, you are getting some really great shades. You are getting some mattes. You are getting some really great shimmer. Of course, I am more of a natural girl. So yeah, I'm gonna gravitate towards shades like this. But again, these are my top five. I'm sorry if it's not as much color as someone else may like, but these are just palettes that I think are just staples that you need in your collection without having to break the bank. And again, I just love this one. I really love the shimmer shades in here. I don't um, like the matte shades as much, but I love the shimmery shades in here. These are some really great lid shades. You can use this alone or you can use this in conjunction with like another palette, but I just think the colors in here are gorgeous. The next palette is one of my favorite palettes, y'all. I talked about this palette so much last year around the fall and the winter time and I am ready to go ahead and pull this bad boy right back on out again for this year. This is from Forever 21. I don't know how many people know but Forever 21 actually does carry makeup. This is one of their Love and Beauty palettes. Um, here is how it looks. Oh my goodness. One, you guys already know that I love that cranberry shade. Those shades right there are just my jams. I love shades like this, but I really love the fact that this comes with some great shimmer shades, but it also has some really great mattes. Like this color right here is such a great transition shade. This color right here is just a really great like outer V crease color when you don't want to use a black. They have this shade right here that I like to use underneath my brow bone. They have some really great golds in here, some really great like bronzy shades. And when I tell y'all I love this, I seriously used 
the heck out of this last year. I have another one on backup. Um, I think you can still pick this up from Forever 21. I'm not exactly sure if there's like a link to it online. Of course, I will leave that down below. But listen, do not sleep on the Forever 21 makeup because they have some really great stuff. And then the final palette that I have to show you guys is definitely one that I think just about every makeup junkie has in their collection. It is one that is never to me going to go out of style. It is not a new palette. It's definitely an oldie but a goodie but I absolutely love it. And it is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I used some of these shades on my eyes today and guys I love this palette for one they have this shade right here that is supposed to be a dupe for max blue brown um, makeup geeks insomnia and then it's also an inglot pigment that is the same this is just it's like a dead on dupe for all of those and you guys know those shades are like one of my favorite shades to wear on the lid but then they also have these really pretty like green shades and then of course you do have your your browns and your golds and things like that but I love this I love, love, love this. These little palettes like this are no more than $3, I want to say. Again, I don't know for sure, but I'll try to leave as much pricing information for everything down below in the description box. So make sure you check it. But I'm telling you, people sleep on wet and wild eyeshadows to me because they have some really good ones. Now, when they come out with like the pop art ones and things like that, they're a bit of a miss, but they're classic shades are bomb so definitely do not sleep on those but this palette in particular is one I feel everyone needs to have in their collection. And then although I know I said this is going to be a top five I do have an honorable mention palette just because I know I showed you guys like a lot of neutral um, a lot of natural shades but I do want to show you guys a palette that has some color in it. I really love this brand. I talked to you guys about this brand a lot. It's a beauty supply store brand but I think you probably can also find um this brand and like five below but I'm not exactly sure it's from beauty treats and this is their uh, modern matte eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like now all of these are matte shades so I think it's always really great to have like some colorful mattes because you don't find you know colorful mattes and palettes too often but look how much color you're getting they have this really great red again red is hard to come by especially as a matte and eyeshadow palettes they have this purple they have pinks they have greens they just have so many colors I reach for this a lot um when I am doing my colorful looks, which you guys know is not often, but when I do them, I can always find a really good matte shade within this palette to use. I think the Beauty Treat palettes are about $5. They do have so many other different palettes than this one, but again, I just wanted to sneak this in there as an honorable mention just because I know some of y'all like, where is the color, Tiff? Where is the color? All right, so that is it for my top five affordable eyeshadow palettes. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what are some of your favorite affordable eyeshadow palettes down below in the comment section. That way, if I don't have them, maybe I can head out and check them out. And anything else you guys want to let me know in the comment section, feel free to put it down below. As always, thank you guys so much for your support. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these great uploads. And until next time. Bye, YouTube.